with precision dunking being so hard in this game, what if we were to change our approach to slashing and use layups instead? In this video, I will showcase a prime Paul George build with 91 driving layup, 93 mid-range and 92 perimeter defense that is destroying opponents in NBA 2K24 what it do uchi gang uchi gang i hope y'all staying blessed if so leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more content from your boy my 68 paul george build with 91 driving layup is a slasher without driving dunk and hall of fame float game which makes him a huge mismatch at the two guard don't believe me take a look at this gameplay and i'll see you guys after to show you how to make this build Gentlemen, it was a cold-blooded, premeditated murder. Okay, Uch, I am sold on this build though, but how do I make it? Well, first thing first, open the builder. Duh. I made him a 6'8 shooting guard with a 6'9 wingspan and 199 pounds in order to get immovable enforcer. For finishing, like I said earlier, no driving dunk. So this is where I have to remind you of my disclaimer. This build works for my playstyle and it is a template. You can change attributes to your liking. Moving on, we do have a 56 standing dunk for the standing dunk cheese. Y'all know what that is. If you know, you know. 91 driving layup, which unlocks literally on gold, giant slayer, bunny, float game on hall of fame and hall of fame pro touch and so many other finishing badges as you can see. We also get a 78 close shot so finishing at the rim over defenders won't be a problem even without driving dunk now where this build is different is that i took advantage of the post control i set it to 92 for gold unpluckable such a cheap attribute that most people do not even upgrade this gives me post ignition on gold fading on this build from the post is so easy and unfair i have my opponents quitting on me frequently <laughs> Now for shooting, you get a 93 mid-range for Hall of Fame Mid and Magician and open looks as well as gold, dead eye and blinders, even gold guard up. I've said this before, but I'm saying it again. If you're not using high mid-range on your build this year, you're missing out on a lot of easy scoring opportunities. Get away from the FOMO, bruh. Now for the three point shot, I went with 87. If you think 87 is low, you sir do not know the sauce. Great shooters in this game all have a low three point rating having more than 85 is an overkill for me i did this because i wanted to make sure i could get my offensive consistency to 99 now for free throws i win with 91 with how unpredictable free throws have been lately i would advise having at least 81 to make sure you can hit consistently at 91 you unlock free points on gold so this is a must for 5v5 for playmaking, I win with an 85 ball control. Quite frankly, this is all I need to hit a couple of dribble moves and get open 
for a quick bucket. You unlock ankle breaker on gold. For some unexplicable reason, I'm not getting a lot of ankle breaker animations compared to my other build with 80 ball handle and silver ankle breaker. I guess I have to find the right animation. If you know one, please let me know in the comments below. For both pass accuracy and speed with ball, I went with 75 to unlock LeBron James and Magic Johnson's dribble styles. Those two are the best right now for that attribute threshold. You get a better speed boost out of the LeBron dribble style, but I feel like you have better off ball crossovers out of Magic's. And because we upgraded our push control, we unlock gold and pluckable as I mentioned in the finishing category. Now for defense, I set my perimeter defense to 92 for goal climbs, goal 94 feet, and goal workhorse. You really do not need more than 88, but at 92, I feel like I slide less and I can really stay in front of my opponent. I'm even keeping up with these 6'2 pesky guards. Now for steal, I win with 85. I average 2 steals a game without spamming the square button. With the strength and height of this build, it is so easy to get bump steals, so it is totally worth it. I did not find necessary to add block and too much into your defense i just upgraded the ladder to 55 which allows me to get enough stops in the paint for a defensive rebound i max it out at 50 just so i can grab the board when i box out properly for them physicals we go with 83 for speed 77 acceleration for silver spot finder 83 strength for bronze bulldozer and silver immovable enforcer and we also unlock gold clamps 53 for vertical and 99 for stamina which will help for gold 94 feet so that's what the build looks like it is a very good build for all game modes. I've gone on 20 game winning streak in the theater with randoms on this build. I've won tons of games in a rack with this build as well. Now, if you've made it to the end of this video, I want to thank you for your support. Seriously, let me know in the comments where Paul George ranks on your favorite players list. Stay good to you until next time. Uchiao. Peace.